Hey guys, this is Brittany. This is my post for Module 3. I wanted to start out by addressing the discussion post. Um, I really appreciated what the text had to say on page 307 to kind of what this prompt is asking for. Um, it was relating to religious holidays in the fact that we should have more discussions, open discussions in classrooms, um, that we should have um, really opportunity to teach what those religions are about and what holidays are important to them on the calendar, why and what exactly um, is celebrated on those days. So I really thought that that was a great idea. Um, they also talked about bringing in guest speakers from different cultures, which I think is an amazing idea. I would have loved to see that during school um, in both you know younger grades and in higher education. But I think the most important part that they put in was the fact of sending a letter to parents for younger children and to students for higher education just saying what they needed from the course um, what they needed um, you know with their identities maybe something that made them uncomfortable or something that would make them comfortable during the program to help them kind of guide themselves and learn more about these identities um, both with sexual orientation and with religious orient uh, religious identities in this case um, but to be able to educate themselves better. I thought it was an amazing idea and one that could really apply to this discussion point. So there was a lot to read um, and a lot to talk about. Sadly, won't be able to get to everything. And um, we'll probably go over, so I do apologize for that in advance. Um, but just so much amazing details throughout these chapters. Um, and I really, really loved the quote on page 387. I felt like it really captured every single piece in this module um, by Reverend Martin Niemöller, I know I ruined his name, <laughs> um, during World War II um, in Germany. They first came for the communists and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a communist. Then they came for the Jews and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a Jew. Then they came for trade unionists and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a trade unionist. Then they came for Catholics and I didn't speak up because I was a Protestant. Then they came for me and by that time no one was left to speak up. It really goes back to all of us really needing to fight for each other, no matter the oppression um, and no matter the identity. And I'm so sorry, I'm apparently getting a random cough in the video. Um, but just being able to see that any injustice to anyone is something that we should all be able to address. Um, there was another quote that I really loved on page 404. Um, the truest measure of a man, indeed of a person, is not whom he lies down with, but what he stands up for. I think that these were very empowering messages throughout the module. Um, I'm especially identified with the female chapter, page 332, um, stating in one survey, women and men were asked what they were most afraid of. Women responded that they were most afraid of being raped and murdered. Men responded that they were most afraid of being laughed at. Um, such a difference there and such, uh, I mean, it's just such a divide. I mean, what can you even kind of understand from that? It's so, it, it's so hard to comprehend. Um, and in that regard, I do want to um, link you guys to an article. It's about a rape victim, and she's basically stating, you know, every every real challenge that she went through, she actually came forward and then went through the judicial system um, concerning her case and what those challenges were, all of the um, kind of stigmatism that went along with her coming forward. I think it was really, really interesting, so I have that to link to you guys. Um, I also found really interesting, page 326, marine women are required to wear makeup. I had no idea whatsoever. Minimum requirement is lipstick and eyeshadow. Um, now, I didn't see if there were any women in our group um, for this this module, or in my group rather, uh, but I mean, I don't wear eyeshadow every day. I barely wear it at all unless I'm going out. So to think that they have to wear it at minimum that there are classes in makeup, hair care, poise, and etiquette for Marines is just, I, I can't comprehend it. It's so, <laughs> I, did, I, I didn't believe it when I read it, and I, was, I just, I still really have a hard time to really kind of wrap my mind around everything. Um, but just so much in this chapter that I really wish I could go into um, in depth, especially with the tragedy that happened in 
Chapel Hill recently. Um, and I feel like with a tragedy that happened not too many years ago um, with Lawrence Alvin Lovett, um, I do want to make sure to put this in the talk. I know I'm running out of time. Um, but we do know he received life for killing Eve Carson from Chapel Hill as well. Um, but that he was acquitted in the murder of Abhijit Mohado from Duke University. He was an Indian student. I mean, it always really irritated me at the time, not to say whatsoever that Eve Carson, you know, shouldn't have the um, the press that she did because I, it was a horrible, horrible tragedy, and she definitely did. But there was just so little attention given to Mohado's passing because it was near the same time and kind of just kind of disappeared from the news. Um, and so just to learn that Levitt was acquitted, I, I had no idea because I, I never saw any follow-up with Mahato's story. Um, so I really felt, you know, kind of really sad at that um, disparity, really, and, and with these horrible passings that just happened, with the murders that just happened. Um, just very raw still, I know. Um, and just even with the, the mentions of Judaism, the... Um, there was one piece in here. Where is it? I need to find it. I'm basically just here, page 256, um, mentioning that the rules that Nazis had taken came from canonical law. That German Nazis did not discard the past, they built upon it. That not so much tragedy could happen in such a short period of time if people had not been predisposed with all of those previous laws um, and passings to, to really make it happen. I mean, every every injustice is against us as humans, not just against those who are being oppressed. And we need to stand up against those who are oppressing others. Um, just a very heavy, heavy module. Um, a lot to take in and something that I know is going to be a wonderful, wonderful discussion for our face-to-face -face time. Um, I really, in the same vein, cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. I do apologize for going over. Um, I hope you have a great week and I cannot wait to hear from you soon.